Hello, my name is Philip, and I want to show you my new tree farm and an energy system. So, the core of everything is this uh, mine factory reloaded tree farm. Here is the harvester, and it's upgraded with gold. And here is the planter, also upgraded with gold. And these are normal oak saplings and trees. And everything that the harvest harvests goes to the AE network here. And the saplings go to the planter and to these fermenters. They go to the fermenter only if there's 10 or more saplings in the network and that keeps the planter full so you'll never see an empty field and full fermenters that's what this uh, level emitter is for it turns I saw it just now uh, it turns on the precision export buses when there's 10 or more Apple saplings, and right now they are full, uh, full, empty. And I'm using mulch as the catalyst because I can get it here. This is where the apples go. It's a squeezer, it squeezes uh, the apple juice out, and that goes to these fermenters because apple juice gives more uh, biomass than water and also we get the mulch from it so I have 129 mulch from all the apples and you can use it in the fermenters so this is how you get your biomass from the apple juice and your only water it goes to this tower of stills. It's overkill, but I wanted to be sure that I get the fuel as soon as I can. That I don't have three completely full stills giving a little of fuel when I can have a lot of stills that are nearly empty, but together giving a lot more fuel. And that fuel goes to this boiler, which right now is keeping a constant temperature because I don't seem to get enough saplings. So, this might not be the best way, but you don't have any other use for the saplings. So, you can just turn them into the biofuel, or ethanol, as it's now called, and try to burn it for at least some steam and the main source of steam is wood and charcoal here uh, I'm using charcoal just to have it more efficient and I'm getting charcoal from the steam oven and these coke ovens the steam oven is there to make it faster and these coke ovens are here to so I get charcoal without having to use steam. So if the system over there fails, I have at least some source of charcoal. And they are set up that when there's more than, I think this is three stacks, yeah, three, more than three stacks of wood, they will put the wood inside a coke oven and try to extract charcoal. And that's how every one of these is set up. And all the creosote oil goes into these drums. And when they become full, they just get voided. But you can do whatever you want with it. So that's how you get the charcoal. And the charcoal is used in here, which is a steam boiler, solid field. 
and it's still heating up after a long time. But it's already giving more steam than I can use. And I'm using the steam in these two power duration units and each one of them can create up to 1280 uh, redstone flux units of energy when they are running on 100% uh, right now they are running at really low power because the battery is full right here it's full so you can see that it's completely self-sufficient the only thing you might not have enough of is the mulch for the fermenters because you don't really get a lot of it but you don't really have to use it you can use the saplings for something else or just throw them out and use only the wood and charcoal but I thought it was a waste to throw them out and I used them to get generate at least some steam yeah this temperature is dropping again yeah, and these two can without any problems power the whole thing and this battery is set to output the maximum amount that these two can create so it will not drain it will always be full because uh, these two are giving it together 2560 uh, redstone blocks and the output here is set to the same number so it can't output more than it gets uh, it stays full all the time and as you can see these could create more energy so that means that the whole setup generates more energy than it uses which is really what you want and also we generate a lot of charcoal I mean I'm using it in this pressure well, uh, high pressure boiler and I still have much, much more and see it growing. Yeah, so we could maybe set up another few boilers and get a lot of more lot more steam. Or use the charcoal to generate coal, to try diamonds, which might be in the next video. Well let's leave that for the next video. So to sum it up, here's a tree farm. The saplings turn into biomass that turns into biofuel or ethanol, as it's called now, which turns into a really small amount of steam. The wood is in here, and these coke ovens turned into charcoal and sent into this boiler that creates a lot of steam. And the steam is used to generate power for the whole thing and to generate a bit more charcoal. That's the main thought. And one small thing I'm quite proud of is this mono override. And it switches between coal and wood for the boiler. Right now it's on, so it uses charcoal. I, uh, I wrote coal because charcoal is too long. And if I switched it off, it would. Uh, consume all the charcoal in there because it doesn't get any more from the system this needs to have redstone and it's turned off so no more charcoal for it and I have just so this needs to have no signal so we have enough wood I added this just to be sure that I don't run out of wood and the redstone signal is turned off so Right now it can put wood inside, so when it, when the boiler eats all the charcoal, it will start eating wood. And as you can see, I have quite a lot of it. And I have quite a lot of 
which are also and turn it back on yeah so you can see it generates a lot more energy than it uses and a few more items could probably run off those items about two more steam boilers just from the charcoal and about three more from the wood itself and well that would probably generate a lot of power a lot 